in the previous videos we have created this nav bar and we also made this hamburger icon and in this video let's create our sidebar so i'm going to create a new component so new file and i'm going to call it sidebar.js here we have to say export default function and it will be sidebar and for now let's just return a simple text so we're going to say return and we can return something like a paragraph text and that will say i am sidebar i am going to import it in our navbar here i am going to say import and we're going to import sidebar from dot forward slash sidebar since we are already in our components folder and now here i want to say sidebar but if we do this this will give us an error as you can see it already covered in red lines that is because a component should only return one parent element but here we are returning two so what we are going to do is wrap them inside an empty react fragment so i am going to cut this and the empty react frag fragment is just a set of angle brackets like so so let me paste it Control v and fix the indentation and refresh and here we have our sidebar okay now let's style our sidebar actually first go here and let's give it a class of sidebar we're going to say div and class name equal to sidebar close it forward slash div and you can say sidebar here okay let's copy the class Control c and go to our index.scss and here let's paste it and let's say this will have a position of fixed so position of fixed the top will be zero the left will be zero height will be 100 viewport height and the width let's say 200 pixel let's see how that much looks save okay also let's give it a background color just so that we can see it so we're going to say for now let's just say red So this is how much it spends across the width. Let's see how much our finished project width is. Let's see. So about this much and here we have this much. Okay, we have to make it a little bit larger or wider. Save. And yeah, now they are in same width. Okay, so we don't want this red background color. Instead, we want our background color to be our background color. So we're going to say var dash dash background dash color. And after that we have we want to create this dark overlay so we can easily do this by using a box shadow so we're going to say box shadow the x will be zero the y will be zero the blur will also be zero and just the spread the spread can be let's say 1000 pixel so 1000 pixel and the color will be rgba 000 and the opacity will be 0.2 so 20 percent transparent black color save and this is how this looks like this should be good enough let's also add some box shadow okay we already added a box shadow let's add another layer of box shadow so for this one and for this one let's say the x axis will be three pixel the y axis will be zero and the blur will be let's say five pixel and the color will be shadow color so var dash dash shadow color save and now we have this bit of shadow also okay this should be good enough now we want to have some link here instead of the sidebar text we want the links to be same as this navbar links here so we don't want to repeat ourselves so what i'm going to do is cut this out so actually let's comment it out for now so control forward slash to comment and i'm going to create an array of our links so we're going to say const links equals to it will be an array of objects so array and the first one we can say title or the name name will be home and the link will be forward slash let's create another one okay for this one the name will be recipes and the path will be let's say forward slash recipes and finally we'll have our settings space so we're going to say name equals to settings and the path will be forward slash settings like so so now instead of just having this a tag let's loop through our link so we're going to say links.map we're going to get our link let's close it like so so for now let's just return an a tag so we're going to say a the href will be for now let's just use hashtag when we start using react router we'll be replacing the a tags with link tag 
but for now let's just say exclamation hashtag exclamation mark like so the key will be link dot name and the for the content we are saying link dot name also save and now we again got the same links actually I want to make them a little bit smaller let's see how we can do that so in our index dot scss let's go to our let's go to our navbar and here is our a text so let's say font size let's say 0.9 em like so so now they are a little bit smaller okay so now what we are going to do is pass those links to our sidebar so we are going to say links equals to links so link is the property and the value is the link that we have created this links so now we can receive those links in our sidebar so here let's say links as our props like so so again we are going to use the loop so we are going to say links dot map will get link here I'm going to return a a tag again and the href again for now let's just say hashtag like so and again we're getting the link dot names here save so now we have this home recipes and settings but in our finished project they look like this so you'll notice that they also have this icon let's see how we can add these icons so in our snap bar we'll also import icons so for icons if you remember we have installed font awesome in our setup part so let's import icons from front awesome so we're going to say import and we are going to import let's say fa home so font awesome home icon we want fa list so font awesome list and we also want fa cog so fa cog cog is basically the settings icon from at font awesome forward slash free solid I svg icons like so so here they will also have a icons property so we are going to say icon equals to fa dash home and this one will have fa list and finally this one this one will have this cog icon so fa cog save so right now we are not using this icons yet so we can't see any icon but in our sidebar component we are going to use those icons so to use them we have to import font awesome here so we are going to say import and we are going to import font awesome icons so font awesome icons from add for add font awesome for slash react font awesome like so and let me make this multi line now so let me control x this enter paste it control v and to use the icon we simply have to say font awesome and for our icon we have to say link dot icon save and as you can see now we have our icons okay now let's style them in our css before that let's give them a class so we're going to say class name and the class name will be let's say sidebar link like so let me copy the class Control C, go to index.scss and paste it inside our sidebar here. Control V, and let's say they will have a display of blocks. So we're going to say display so now they are in separate lines. Let's also give them some padding. So we're going to say padding. Well, so let's try 1 em and 1 em maybe it is good or maybe bad we can see it yet so let's say border left so border dash left the border left will be let's say 0.5 em and the color will be solid primary color like so save and this is how they look like we also need some margin on the bottom so we're going to say margin bottom of let's say 1 em and yeah the padding on left and right is okay but for the top and bottom let's say 0.5 em like so and let's make it let's say 0.3 em and 0.3 em is a bit too small so let's say 0.4 em and 0.4 is pretty good okay so by default the color will be a transparent so we're going to say transparent border color and when they have a class list of active so we're going to say end active so when they have a class of active the border left color will be our primary color like so so let's go to our sidebar and try it so let's give it a class of active as you can see now they have this color okay let's remove it and these icons are basically svg so let's target them so in our scss here let's target our svg let's say they will have a width of let's say 1 em 
or uh, let's say 1.2 em and 1.2 should be good enough let's also add some margin on the left side so margin left of let's say 0.5 em actually it should be margin right save and now they have this little bit of margin okay let's give give it a color so let's say color equal to var dash just text color like so okay let me refresh and here now we have this color let's try to give it a font weight of bold let's see how that looks so let's say font dash weight of bold and we didn't have bold in our ori original project so let's remove it and instead let's say font size and let's try 1.1 em and yeah this is much more closer to what we have in our finished project so when we hover on them we also get this border color so let's do that so we're going to say and colon hover and the border color border left color will also be this primary color so let's copy this control c control v so when we hover on them we also get this color and we also had a background color so we're going to say background color of this time it will be rgba 0, 0, 0 and for the opacity let's say 0 0.05 save okay it should be just 0 0.05 save and we have this little bit of transparent background also and yeah this should be good enough but now what we're going to do is make it hidden initially so we're going to say we're going to go to our nav bar and since our nav bar and sidebar is the same is in the same component and we have this show sidebar state here so we can use it control c so what we're going to do is say if show sidebar state is true in that case show the sidebar and we can cut this save so initially we don't have our sidebar and in the and when we're clicking this hamburger icon we're setting the set show bar to opposite of what it was previously but for now we can just say true if we save it let's try to shrink our window now we have this hamburger icon and if we click on it we get our sidebar and if we click anywhere we want to close our sidebar let's see how we can do that so we are going to pass this show sidebar as our prop so we are going to say close actually let's create a function for that that will be better so let's create a function let's create a that function here so we are going to say function let's call it close sidebar and it will simply set the set show sidebar to false like so save and here we can pass it as a fun prop called close so we are going to say close equals to it will be our close sidebar like so so now let's use it in our sidebar component so in our sidebar we are going to receive close as a prop and we are going to say when it is clicked so we are going to say on click we are going to simply run the close function so close save it click on refresh let's click on this the sidebar opens if you click on here the sidebar goes away okay so this is what we want it doesn't matter which link we click the sidebar will close but since we use box shadow and not a actual HTML element if you click here the sidebar won't close you have to click on this white part like so we also want some animation so this should slide from the left side so let's see how we can do that so our sidebar will simply have an animation so we're going to say animation and for the animation let's say the duration will be again we're going to use our function so we're going to say get animation duration let's say 0.5 second and the name of our function can be let's say slide in left okay so for our animations I want to create a separate CSS file so what I'm going to do is create a new folder so new folder I'm going to call it partials and inside that we're going to have a new file so new file I'm going to call it underscore animations dot scss so all our animations will be inside this function so we called it slide in left so co copy this control C and here we're going to say add keyframes and we called it slide in left let's say at 0% the transform is going to be translate x to negative 100% and at 100% the translate x will be 0 like so so first we have to import these animations in our index.scss so to import it we simply have to say add import and we want to import partials for slash underscore animations or we can simply say animations.scss we don't need the underscore save 
and yeah this works the same but let's see let's refresh and click here and as you can see now the sidebar comes sliding in okay let's try to make the animation duration a bit slower a bit faster actually so and let's decrease the animation speed so here instead of saying 0.5 second let's say 0.3 second save click on refresh and as you can see this slides in in 0.3 second okay this should be good enough for now and in our finished project you'll also notice that these links also comes one after another so they will also have this animation so we're going to say animation actually let's just copy this Control c and Control v if we were to save it click on refresh actually this one refresh and click on it we can't see the animation that is because both this sidebar and this links have the same animation duration so they are occurring in the same time so for our links we are going to add some animation delay so we are going to say at 4 so in sas we can use for loop so we are going to say for dollar i so the i will be our variable and then we are looping from 1 to 3 that is because we have 3 links so as you can see we have 3 links home recipes and settings so we are going to say for nth child we are going to we are targeting our all the one two three child so all three of this link and we're going to say animation duration so animation actually animation delay so animation delay will be let's say okay to use it we're going to have to say hashtag and inside curly braces we can say dollar i times let's say 0.1 second save it okay we have some error let's see okay we again have to say hashtag and curly brace like so save it and now we don't have any error let's try to refresh and click here and they comes but they kind of jitters so we're going to say the transform equals to translate x equals to negative 100 percent by default so negative 100 percent save it click on refresh and now they comes one after another but they also goes away so we have to say animation fill modes to forward so we can simply say forwards save click on refresh click here and as you can see our links comes one after another so this is what we want it so okay guys that's all for our sidebar in the next video we'll start working on this section here so i'll see you in the next part